us right now, we're here because a teenage boy was brutally murdered and left out on display for the world to see. Um, and there's been just, I guess, a slew of reactions, very strong reactions, one of which brought us here today. Mr. Crowder took it upon himself to travel to the heart of where all this took place and is gracious enough to not only allow the screening to be held here, but to also share his time. So if we could please thank him for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm very excited to be here, um, especially to uh, screen this in front of those of you who are um, interested in pursuing a career of law and hopefully being advocates for um, a lot of the situations that are in within this particular documentary. But as you know, uh, you know the issues are far uh, more outside of uh, just police brutality. We have all kinds of issues that we need um, sincere, committed, legal advocates to help those in the community, many times who are not um, afforded uh, the resources, sometimes to have their issues represented uh, in the court of law. And that's a very serious uh, issue. Um, and it's an urgent issue. Uh, we don't see um, the conditions uh, that many of our specifically uh, low-income black communities are facing getting any better. <clears throat> and uh, matter of fact, um, they're getting worse. And so that means that we're gonna have to have those of you who are passionate about these kind of issues uh, show up uh, and um, be committed to the, the, that struggle, uh, to the struggle, to the historical issues that uh, many, many black people in this country have faced and still face to this day. And, uh, and you know, ultimately this is, a, this is an issue about our higher self of humanity. You know, you know it could be easy to just get stuck on a, on a racial identification, which is something that is reality, but hopefully uh, in uh, your pursuit of uh, any area of law that you consider to uh, work in, uh, your call to our all higher sense of humanity, to the responsibility that we have to each other as human beings first. Uh, we can just go ahead and start screening the film right now. I look forward to uh, <clears throat> having a, a question and answer session after the film, but thank you for coming, and um, I'm sure this will be very thought-provoking for those of you here who are here. Hi, I'm Cerise Regis, and I thought the film was very moving. Hi, my name is Ling Long, and I thought the film was very powerful. Hi, I'm Maria Pittner, and I was in awe of the film. Hello, my name is Leslie Rodman, and I thought that the film was epic. Hi, I'm John Mark. Um, moving. Farrell Lewis, I thought the film was powerful. Uh, Justine Hicks, efficient. Oh. Yeah, more on this movie was great. Uh, Sadiq Abdullah, the movie is outstanding. Uh, my name is Mary, and um, all I have to say is hands up, don't shoot at you. I'm Nate, and the film for me was a seed that was planted. This is Brian Cook, and the film was cool. I'm Jules Porter, and this film was amazing. It called me to action, and definitely, I'm going to do everything I can to stop this. I'm Patty, I felt that the film was honesty. Um, my name is Patty, and. Real. Hey, I'm Alexandra, and I thought the film was moving. Hey, I'm Andy. Uh, that film was unflinching. No. Thanks, Andy. Hi, I'm Joyce, and um, good truth-telling, and good counterpoint to our uh, usual media.